Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the corner to corner waddle stitch. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, how to make the single crochet stitch, the double crochet stitch, the single crochet decrease, and be familiar with the corner to corner stitch. I have a video on all of these and I will have them listed down below. I will also have a video listed down below for the regular waddle stitch if you would like to check that out. This stitch is made up of increase rows and then decrease rows to make a square. So to begin the corner to corner waddle stitch you're going to make four chains on your hook. Into the first chain you made or the farthest one from your hook you're going to make a single crochet stitch. Then make one chain. Then make one double crochet into that same chain. And that's going to be your first row. To start your next increase row, you're going to chain three and then turn your work. So we're looking at the back of that first row. You can see that this was the double crochet that I had just made, that chain in between, and then that single crochet. So you're going to be working into the space made from that chain. So you're going to make a single crochet. chain one, and then make a double crochet into that same space. You can see that this is that single crochet. You're going to work into the space between that and these chains right here. So you're going to work a single crochet, make one chain, then work a double crochet into the top of these previous chains from your last row. So that's how that second row is looking. I'm going to show you one more increase row. So you're going to start by making three chains and you're going to turn your work for every increase row. You're going to work into this first open space, which you can see is that previous double crochet, chain one, and then that single crochet. You're going to make a single crochet, make one chain, and then make one double crochet into that same space. So you're going to skip over to the next previous waddle, which is going to be this one right here. You can see there's that stitch, which is a previous double, a chain, and then a single. You're going to work in between that little chain space doing a single, a chain, and a double. Now you're going to work into this open space next to this single and these previous chains. You're going to make that single chain and then a double into the tops of those previous chains. This is how your increase rows are going to look. Chain three, work that waddle of a single chain double into any of the open spaces from previous ones and then also work into this open space at the very end of your row making that same single chain double into the tops of those previous chains. So I'm gonna make more increase rows to make my example square a little bit bigger and then I will come back and show you how to make the decrease rows. I made 10 increase rows total for my square. I'm now ready to start my decrease rows. There is gonna be one initial decrease row and then there's gonna be the decrease row after that you will repeat until your square gets to the end. To start that first decrease row, you're going to make two chains and then turn your work. You're going to skip over this open space completely that you were originally working into, the one farthest to the right. You're going to start into that first waddle and you're going to make a waddle. So single crochet, chain one, and then double. Then you're going to make waddle stitches until you get to the very last one.
When you reach the last waddle, you're going to make one like normal, single, chain, double. But instead of working into this open space like you were normally to increase, you're going to just make a single crochet into the last chains of the row. So that's how that first decrease row is looking. To start your next decrease row, you're going to make two chains and you're going to turn your work. Again, you're going to skip this open space like we did before. You're going to work into your first previous waddle. Single chain and a double in that same space. You're then going to make waddles up until the very last one of your row again. I've come to my very last waddle stitch of my row. You're going to make a single crochet decrease using this last waddle and these previous chains. Insert your hook into the waddle, grab that yarn, pull it through, insert your hook into these previous chains, grab that yarn you're working with, pull it through, yarn over, and make that single crochet decrease. So that's what that decrease row is looking like. So like I said before, you will set up that original decrease row with that chain two, skip that first space, then work waddles like normal, then make the single crochet into those last chains. Then you would repeat this one, the chain two, skip the open space, work waddles, and then make the single crochet decrease until you get to your last row. I'm gonna go ahead and make my decrease rows until I reach my last row. And I'll come back to show you how you can finish off your square. This is what my square is looking like. I now want to get the yarn end connected to my hook into the corner to match the one from the very beginning over in this corner. So I'm going to make one chain on my hook. I'm going to turn my work. I'm then going to make one single crochet into the very last waddle stitch. I'm then going to slip stitch into the stitch next to it chain one, turn my work again, then slip stitch back into that single crochet made. That's now going to put that yarn end in the same corner as the one where we started. And that is going to be how to make the corner to corner waddle stitch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at crochet me lovely all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.